hey guys you're welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be showing this dress that you can see on your screen so in my last tutorial we drafted out the pattern in this tutorial we'll be sewing the dress in the next tutorial we'll be cutting and sewing the jacket if you've not seen the pattern drafting tutorial i'm going to leave the link in the comment section so go ahead and watch it so after drafting my pattern i went ahead to fold my fabric into two I placed my pattern on my fabric and I added half an inch all the way around. The only place I did not add half an inch was the base of my fabric because I already have my joining allowance there. Make sure that your center front is on fold. Okay, so after cutting on my fabric, I went ahead to place the fabric like this on my lining piece and on my SD and I cut out exactly what I have on the fabric so we are going to start with the center front i have half an inch on the neckline area and on the side which i'm going to use for my stitching allowance so i went ahead to cut out my lining i also cut out my sd so the first thing i'll do is to place my sd on the wrong side of my fabric you can pad your dress if you want to but i'm just going to use sd so the rough side of the sd i'm going to place it on the wrong side of my fabric and i'll go ahead and iron so for the side front you can see that i have my half an inch all the way around i have two pieces of lining and i have two pieces of sd so what i'll do is to open up the main fabric on the wrong side i'm going to place my sd and i'm going to go ahead and iron so if you want to pad your dress you can go ahead and cut out your wording and use it to pad it okay so just iron your sd down after doing that we'll work on the back for the back i didn't cut out sd for it i only went ahead to cut out my lining piece okay so i'm going to place my lining piece on the main fabric right side facing right side as you can see me doing so i've gone ahead to iron the sd to the main fabric and this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is to join them so i'm going to turn my fabric to the right side as you can see me doing and i'm going to place the side front on the center front as you can see and then i'll pin from the base okay i'll arrange everything in place like this i'll pin from the base all the way to the neckline area after pinning i'm going to head over to my sewing machine and i'll sew using my half an inch so you can use your chalk to mark the half an inch before you sew on it i'll repeat the same thing for the other side i'll pin all the way to the neckline area and i'll go ahead and sew after sewing make sure you open the seam up and you iron it properly i'm going to repeat the same thing that i did for the main fabric on the lining piece i'll place them right side facing right side and i'll go ahead and so for the back guys what i'll do is to sew my lining piece to the main fabric i'll place them right side facing right side and i'll pin all the way around after pinning i'm going to sew um the neckline area the sides and the two sides okay that's the zipper area and the side but i'm going to leave the ammo area open okay so i've sewn the front in place and this is what it looks like you can see that i opened my seam and i used my tailor's arm to iron it flat okay so this is what it looks like on the outside i repeated the same thing for the lining piece what i'll do now is to place my lining piece right side on the right side of my fabric and i'm going to pin all the way around so make sure everything aligns and then use your pin to hold it down after doing that i'll head over to my sewing machine and i'll sew on all sides including the arm o area okay so just go ahead and sew but for the back do not close the arm o area okay after sewing i'm also going to take my dart for the back i've already sewn my lining piece to it and i ironed it flat so what i'll do now is to take the dart the arm o area is still open okay so to take the dart i'm going to place my fabric on the wrong side as you can see i'll mark out my zipper allowance and then from the zipper allowance now i'm going to take half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches remember your zipper allowance is not included in your dart so while i was transferring my pattern to my fabric remember i added half an inch to the shoulder area i first of all marked out the half an inch from that half an inch i came down by 10 inches which is my bust point okay i'm marking my zipper allowance so i can get the four inches which is my nipple to nipple measurement okay so i'm going to now connect so the length of my dart is 
um from my shoulder okay to 10 inches which is my bust point i hope you guys are not confused i'm just repeating the same thing that i did on the pattern paper while we we're drafting so i'm going to go ahead and take half an inch on both sides of the straight line and i'll connect like this i repeat the same thing for the other back piece i'll take out my zipper allowance from that point i'll come in by um half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches i went down by 10 inches which is my that length and then i took half an inch on both sides and i connected so guys i've sewn the front in place and this is what it looks like so once you sew go ahead and iron so everything stays flat okay after doing that guys um for the back i've also gone ahead to take the darts and this is what it looks like i also ironed everything in place the next thing i'm going to do now is to join the shoulder of the back and the front together to do that remember the arm o of the back is still open so what i'll do first of all is to open up the back arm o, okay i'll open it up like this okay and then i'm going to place the front inside the back okay lining to lining fabric to fabric arrange it well and then go ahead and use the back fabric to just cover everything up as you can see me doing after doing that you are going to hold it down with your pin okay so to close the arm or area i'm going to fold everything inward you can first of all sew this one first and then you are going to turn you can see me turning the back piece to the wrong side okay you're going to turn everything to the wrong side so to make it easy you're going to um sew one first before you do the other one so i'll push both the front inside the back or the front piece inside the back because i want to close up the arm or area after doing that i'm going to arrange the um arm or area okay pinning the lining and the fabric together as you can see me doing after doing that i'll head over to my sewing machine i'll close the shoulder and then i'm going to sew um the arm or area close okay this is to help me get a neat finishing so after sewing i went ahead to open it up as you can see me doing so once you open it up you realize that all parts of the arm or area is already closed and is looking neat so this is what it looks like so i'm going to now repeat the same thing for the other back piece okay so i'll bring in the back piece i'm going to open up the arm or area like this and then i'm going to place the front shoulder on it fabric to fabric lining to lining after arranging it in place i'll cover it up with the main fabric like this and then i'm going to use my pin to hold it down as you can see me doing after doing that i'm going to turn everything to the wrong side okay so i'll turn both the front and the back as you can see me doing just push everything in okay this is this will make it easy for you to um sew the arm o area in place after pushing everything in i'm going to arrange the arm o area i'll use my pin to hold it down after doing that i'll head over to my sewing machine and i'll sew the shoulder and the arm o area close after sewing i'm going to turn everything back to the right side okay after sewing you can go ahead and notch okay just so it stays flat and then you turn it inside out and iron okay i've gone ahead to turn it inside out and this is what it looks like so at this point you can iron it flat okay and you can see how neat it looks okay the rough edges is no longer showing so just go ahead and give it a good press okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in my sketch part so like i said in the pattern drafting tutorial if you want to line your skirts go ahead and cut out your lining piece the same way that you cut out your fabric okay i'm not going to line my skirt what i'll do is to mark my dart so i'm marking the dart on the other side of the skirt so this is everything that we did in the pattern drafting tutorial so i'll trace out the dart on the back also on the other side of the front so after marking i'll head over to my sewing machine and i'll take the dart okay so i've gone ahead to take my dart this is what it looks like on the right side and on the wrong side i took the dart for the back piece also what i'll do now is to join the front upper bodies to the lower bodies okay i'm going to arrange them in place like this i'll make sure that my dart is matching okay 
so the dart for the upper bodies should match the dart for the lower bodies so pin all the way and then go ahead and sew using the half an inch allowance that we left i'll also repeat the same thing for the back i'll bring in my two um back skirts piece and i'm going to place them like this okay then i'll pin making sure that the dart aligns also after doing that i'll sew using the half an inch allowance I've joined the upper bodies to the lower bodies. This is the front and this is what the back looks like. So for the back, go ahead and pin the two um, pieces of fabric together just like you see me doing. If you can, iron your, if you can, please iron your zipper allowance to make it easy for you. Okay, so after pinning the back piece together, I'll bring in my zip and I'll figure out how long I want the zip to be. So it totally depends on how you want it. So this is the point where I want my zipper to stop. I used my chalk to mark it down. The next thing is to determine the length of your slit, how open you want the slit to be. So from the base, me, I came up by 12 inches. That is the length of my slit. You can go up more and you can come down depending on what you want. So from where I want my zipper to stop, I connected straight to where the slit is going to start from. So I'm not going to sew this um, part. It's going to be open. Okay, so what I'll do now is to sew from where my zipper is going to stop all the way to where the slit is going to start okay i hope you guys are not confused so after doing that i'll go ahead and fix my zipper to the back okay so guys i fixed my zipper to the back and this is what it looks like okay i've also gone ahead to place the front and the back piece together and i pinned all the way around the next thing i'll do now is to shape my dress to do that you're going to place your bust circumference divided by two on the bust line your waist circumference divided by two on the waistline your hip circumference divided by two on the hip line so i placed my tape on the bust line what i add there was about 18.5 inches and my bust divided by two is about 17 inches so i divided the remaining 1.5 inches into two and that's what i placed on both sides of the bust line on the waistline i also placed my tape what i have here was about um 16 inches or 15 inches thereabout and my um waist divided by two is 13.5 so whatever is left i divided into two i hope you guys understand so once you divide into two make sure you confirm that you have your measurement there so from the waistline i came down by 8.5 inches which is my hip point so i placed my tape on the hip line everything that i got there was 20 inches and my hip um circumference divided by two is 18 inches so i have extra three inches or thereabouts so i divided the three inches into two i took one and a half inches on both sides of the dress okay so after doing that i went ahead to connect from the bust to the waist and from the waist to the hip making sure that my hip area is not too sharp okay then you are going to determine how um fitted you want the base of your skirt to be so once you figure that out you are going to slant from the hip line to the base of the dress after doing that you are going to sew on the lines okay so the next thing you do is to m the base of your dress and then you iron your dress so that is all for this tutorial i'll be cutting and sewing the jacket in the next tutorial so i'll see you in the next one